Hello everyone. Well, it looks like we're going to have the mother of all storms showing up here this afternoon. It's uh, around quarter to nine in the morning and uh, they're forecasting some terrible, terrible weather. Well, I guess it depends on how you look at it. If you're a tractor owner and you enjoy plowing snow, it's probably as good as a vacation in Florida for us. But uh, yeah, they're forecasting anywhere from 40 could be up to 70 centimeters of snow today with 100 to 110 kilometer hour winds and uh, it's going to be really really bad and then tomorrow we're supposed to get another 20 or 30 centimeters of snow there's a snow bucket over there that I plan on using before the week weekend is out that vehicle is running because it's getting ready to go into shop for repairs uh, so we'll go in and we'll have a look at the uh, Kubota 5740 that we uh, we bought from Newfoundland Kubota. We buy all our all our equipment from uh, Newfoundland Kubota. Great dealership, fantastic service, and of course you can't beat the uh, Kubota product as well. Anyway, this one here has got some uh, new features on it. If you guys didn't see the updated video. It's got the uh, new LED light bar up top, and I'm going to tell you, it's bright. Then I also added one to the front as well. And uh, as you can see, it's there, and it's quite bright. It turns nighttime into day. You know, for the naysayers that don't like a lot of LED lighting and emergency lighting on these tractors, well, you're going to see when we do finally get to use it that it's uh, quite nasty out there and the visibility is almost nil. So the more lighting, the better. Now, I'll show you what I'm using uh, for mounts for the camera. I'm using an Innovation Drift 170 HD camera and they're going to be hooked up to these suction cup mounts. And there's one on that side and there's one over there. So it's, uh, it's quite effective. It works well. and. I think you people who's been watching the videos have enjoyed them, so uh, I'll attempt to do another one. I'll try to make it a little different, but our snow clearing contracts are basically in the same place. We have a, a few new ones, so I'll try to capture them for you. Tractor's all fueled up, so all we got to do now is wait for the snow. Okay, it's snowed all night. The winds are quite high. Let's see what I got to deal with to get out to the Kubota. It's block solid. No, no, I have to go to the front of the house. That's a lot of it. Let's try to get out to the garage. Oh, boy. I gotta try to get uh, some snow cleared because it's uh, it's actually gonna turn to rain or close to rain later on this afternoon. Just to give you some idea of the drifts. That's a drift right there, I'll tell you. That's about uh, five, six feet tall. Now, I'm just going to see if I can get over here to the garage. Oh, yeah, I got a little bit of a break here. Tractor's in front on, so I'll be able to... Uh, I'll be able to use the snowblower to come out. I just got to try to get over there to the door. Trees down. That's pretty good. Let's get in here. Holy smoke, it's bad. Okay, I got the uh, main door shoveled out. It's bad out there, so uh, I'm going to head out there now and see if we can get some snow clearing done. <laughs> 